Hello, my name is Igor and welcome to my tech fan. A few days ago I presented the video about the Creality Falcon 2 laser engraver. And always I mentioned in this kind of videos we were also about the safety. One of them is that uh, you should always wear a safety glasses or everybody in that room should wear a safety glasses. And also the engraver should be used in a good ventilated room too. Now these review videos I'm always recording in our living room because here I have a natural light too. But when I start with the cutting, I always open this door here and on opposite side of this room I also have a door. In this case uh, the smoke will go out quite quickly. But uh, using an enclosure is much more elegant and safer solution. Now if you use it regularly I always suggest to build some kind of enclosure. But actually you can buy an enclosure and this box is sent to me by the Creality in exchange for the review. And theoretically, uh, this engraver should fit inside this enclosure. <laughs> you will see that. A uh, few specifications. It has enclosed design to isolate the smoke and the dust. And it can exhaust smoke and for this it has the 4000 RPM fan. It is waterproof and fireproof, which is <laughs> more important in this case. And it has anti-blue light uh, dual window, so we can see very good what is happening inside. It has folding storage, well, let's see how it is easy to fold it after it is assembled. And one thing it is not mentioned on the website, but I think it uh, helps with reducing the noise. Of course, additionally, we have the noise from the exhaust fan, we will see if <laughs> it will make it equal. But usually the most of the noise came from this uh, fan, cooling fan on the laser module. And I know that this kind of enclosures uh, will reduce this by 5 to 6 decibels. I have this experience from similar enclosure for CD printer I presented maybe a year ago or two. But it is time to unbox it. This is content of the package, these are exhaust elements with the fan pipes with the connectors, uh, this is the cover with some user manual and that's it. Let's start with assembling. Pipes are labeled so I can follow these uh, instructions in the user manual. It is like assembling some kind of puzzle toy, so it was very smooth and uh, for this I needed approximately a little bit more than 10 minutes. After the assembling of the frame was finished I placed it over the laser engraver and then I placed the cover over it. This required additionally maybe 2 or 3 minutes. The cover will be secured to the frame with these hook and loop fasteners. It is assembled and actually I could place it over the laser engraver even now. Or I can take it off if I want to store it. And uh, now I will attach the exhaust fan and I can do it on both sides. And I will use it here because here I have this door. These are the instructions and pay attention to the position of the fan because uh, the airflow direction is very important. Here we have this arrow. I'm installing the exhaust fan and grid from one side and the plastic flange from the outside. And then installing the pipe and secure it, it with this uh, ring. It will be fine. The length is approximately a little bit more than one and a half meters. And the other side goes outside. On the side we have holes, this is the left side and I will use this opening to connect the air assist pump. And on this side the power cable and the USB cable to the laptop will be connected. We have some pocket here and there is another exit for the exhaust if you need it on the right side. Well, as a temporary solution I will use this power bank to give the power to the exhaust fan. But it would be better if Creative would design some kind of additional USB plugs on the laser engraver for these purposes. On the website they claim that it is fireproof. Uh, well, I think this window and these uh, pipes are not really fireproof completely. I mean, maybe they will not catch the flame, but uh, they will melt in the fire. But I already checked the inner walls are covered with some aluminum foil and they are fireproof. I already checked that. It is time to do some cutting and now you can see why I don't use this enclosure in my review videos because but I can see what's happening inside approximately. The positioning will be a little bit hard but definitely for the camera it is hard to see what's happening inside. All fans are working even the exhaust fan and the air pump and it is noticeably quieter because now actually the air pump is louder than this fan. Usually it was opposite uh, without enclosure. 
So from half meter distance, uh, instead of 68 decibels, now it has the noise of 61 decibel. Quite big difference. And my next work will be cutting out this butterfly and the cutting time is approximately 2 minutes and um, 12 seconds. Boundary check. The work is on 50% and I can see a lot of smoke inside. I'm not sure if it's visible on camera too, but definitely that uh, smoke will be inside the room otherwise. And now slowly it will go outside over that exhaust fan. It's not really visible, but um, I can feel that smoke. The work is finished uh, maybe a half minute ago because all the fans and the air pump uh, stops with the working. And I don't really want to open it just to show you maybe. Is the smoke really visible? Oh yes. I will wait maybe five more minutes and then I will open it to see was the smoke exhausted completely. I was waiting five minutes and it's time to see the result. Looks okay, but what is more important that uh, I cannot feel that smoke anymore. So five minutes was enough uh, to most of that to be exhausted to that uh, fan. Quick conclusions for the end, but if you are using the laser engraver regularly, definitely you should use some kind of enclosure. And uh, this is one very cheap and functional solution for the feeling 90-95% of that smoke was catched with this enclosure and exhaust outside with that fan. Uh, through these windows I can see partly what's happening inside and then we filter most of that uh, blue light from the laser so it is safer and already mentioned so it will reduce the noise from 68 to 61 decibels so this is big difference you don't forget this is not linear scale so working next to it one or two hours uh, next to 68 decibels that's not good for the ears so definitely it will help to reduce the noise too. The disadvantage is, well, it's a little bit uh, uncomfortable to work inside when it is closed, but you can completely open it and do all the positioning and preparing. And when you are start with the engraving, you have a few seconds, you can close it and it will work fine. Uh, you cannot use the positioning camera, so in that case, uh, this is not a good solution for you, uh, because it will be somewhere here, you know, positioning if you want to use that for the time-lapse videos or positioning of the object and the engraving. If you have some other experience or maybe you have some better solutions, write me a few lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy and safe engraving.